everyone. Bernard here on behalf of MovieGameNostalgia.com. I hope you're all okay. And it's a little movie review today on a, a little British quirky drama called Incidental Characters. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that all subscribe button. Push the bell notifications so we know these little movie review vlogs, uh, TV drama review vlogs, information vlogs are coming out. That'd be fantastic. And please tell your friends. Uh, let's get more, more the merrier. The subscriptions are growing nicely, but uh, let's have a few more on board. Yeah, incidental characters. It's um, been given a 12A uh, rating, an hour and 47 minutes. And uh, yeah, it's set in the picturesque English market town of Lewes. Very pretty, very nice. Um, Josie uh, is a dreamer. Tony is a hapless romantic. Alf finds other people difficult to read. Alison is lost in alcohol and isolation. Join the club, love. And four, <laughs> all four of these four individuals are looking for answers, but uh, perhaps are asking the wrong questions, unfortunately. Yeah, it does, uh, this is from their blurb. This is from the maker's blurb. Uh, incidental characters celebrates the magic of moments and the influence we have on each other, often without knowing it. Uh, directed by Benjamin Verrill. And written by Benjamin Verrill, so he's very greedy, isn't he? Does does all the things himself. Stars Sophia Capasso, Isabella Marshall, Howard Perrett, three main roles. Uh, is it any good? Well, there's not a lot of reviews out there. There's nothing on Rotten Tomatoes at the moment. There's nothing on Metascore. But uh, Joe Public, you and me, Internet Movie Database, it's getting... 4 out of 10 based on 32 reviews. There's not many reviews actually, written reviews been left. As, you, as I say to you, you could have like a thousand reviews on there. There's probably about 20 people actually can be, be bothered uh, to write a proper review on something. So yeah, it's only getting a 4 out of 10 overall. But uh, the guys who've actually left a written review, I mean, they're, they're mainly positive actually. There's, uh, some. These are some of the comments. Um, a delightful British film. Uh, pretty scenery, dismal script. Quirky, funny and life-affirming and delightful. So, I mean, that's just some of the comments from four of the reviewers. They obviously say the, there is a negative there, but obviously the, the positives are, are much to the thought. Yeah, I mean, my little thoughts, uh, little MGM thoughts. I mean, I do like these little quirky dramas. Uh, you know, it's, it's not Crash or things like this where different people's uh, lives suddenly, bum, you know, collide and come together. But it is obviously that sort of thing where obviously these four characters are uh, quite, quite separate. They're being interviewed separately at the start, which is a bit a bit rubbishy, not not the greatest way of doing it, and obviously asked about things on for like a reality show sort of vibe, if you like. But uh, then it sort of goes into the little stories of each guy, and some in, some in, are interwoven and cross over into into the others, affect the other people as well in it. And it's it's nice. I mean, I, the characters certainly grew on me. Um, I I thought. You know, the lack of love for this is a bit unfair. As I say, it's only 32 um, people have left a score on the Internet Movie Database. So it's not many, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's my sort. Of, I like these sort of little slow uh, dramas that don't, don't really go anywhere, but they explore people's lives. And it is a simple tale, but it's and with a nice ending as well, which is nice. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with a nice, simple watch on a on an afternoon, sat on yourself with a, with a, with a hot chocolate and a bag of popcorn, a hot chocolate and a pack of digestives or something like that it's, it's just a really really nice film I did really enjoy it and uh, it's nice to see these relationship dramas and you're thinking why is he not doing that why is she not doing that why is he said that why is she not reacted like this and it is always that I mean it can be annoying because you, you want you want certain characters to uh, sort of get together or not get together etc and the characters uh, initially I wasn't overly in, in, infused with them but as, as the as the film um, meanders on and rolls on. <coughs> Excuse me. I did uh, actually become to like the characters a lot more. And by the end of the film, I sort of missed them when it ended. I was hoping there might be a little bit more about it, as you say. But it, it was a nice ending, so uh, that's all that matters, really. So it's just a really nice, simple relationship drama. So if you like that sort of thing, without any shooting or killing or, you know, uh, effing and jeffing, which you certainly don't get in this, it's, it's a nice, nice, cosy, nice, cosy watch. Uh, I would certainly not put you off incidental characters, just as I say, just as a, a little watch. I think it's out to stream now and it's actually out as I'm, as you're watching this, it will be out to buy as well. So, um, but there's been no big hoo-ha about it or anything. So you, you have to probably have to find and seek this one out if you if you like a simple tale of four English-based uh, people sort of uh, trying to live life, basically, and it's a 
I, I liked it. I really enjoyed it. Right, what about the scores? What about the MGN scores? Well, I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10, 6.5 out of 10, which uh, is pretty good for me. You know me, I'm a bit me with my score. So anything above a 6 is watchable. I think this is better than watchable. And as I said, it won't be everyone's cup of tea, don't get me wrong. Some people will turn it off like they said. Pretty scenery, dismal script. I mean, I've, I don't know. Perhaps, perhaps they're more into uh, Bruce Willis uh, action pictures. I'm not sure. But uh, no, there's nothing wrong, nothing wrong with this for a nice little pretty nicey relationship drama the poster yeah the poster's all right i like the um you know uh, um if you ever watch my football vlogs obviously i always have a quite a bit bit of a dig at the uh, artwork i like nice artwork I and mean, when obviously characters are drawn rather than photos of the characters which you've seen on this poster um i do like it i do like the caricature side of it the, the look of it the feel of it and some of that's in the film as well with, with one of the um protagonists in the film obviously and that, that's nice it's nice to think that they they could do you know the people out there that talented that can do these things and i think it looks marvelous certainly on the on the film and obviously i think that poster reflects it i think the poster is a nice poster and I, i'm going to give it i'm not going to beat the film i'm not going to give it more than 6.5 but yeah i'm going to give the poster 6.5 as well i'm going to call it a draw because i do i do like the poster again like the film it's just simple and a nice poster. I enjoy it. Anyway, please, if you get to watch Incidental Characters uh, by streaming or you actually buy the film, I think it's a little bit, what I saw on DVD might be a little bit expensive than perhaps it should be, but that's probably because of its rarity value. I don't think you'll be able to find it everywhere in stores and stuff. It's uh, You have to shop around or go online and buy it if you really want to buy it. But uh, it should be available to stream, so... Uh, yeah, that's uh, Incidental Characters, so let me know what you think anyway, if you get to watch it, uh, let me know in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching this today. What are we going to do the rest of the day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your family. Let's all look after each other. And please join me again very, very soon for another movie game nostalgia, film review, TV drama review or information vlog in the very near future. This is Bernard saying goodbye for now. Please stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye.